Now and before seven o'clock. The sport born in Yorkshire that's taking on the world. It's fast and it's furious, but played with integrity and respect allows us to introduce you to the world of VX. Now, keeping with sport, did you know that one of the UK's apparently fastest growing sports originated right here in Yorkshire? It's called VX, and since it began eight years ago, it's been taken up in 24 countries around the world, and it's played in schools, colleges and universities. It's also attracted interest from the prison service and the military. Yes, it has a code of honour, integrity and respect, which is one of the reasons it's so popular. So what is VX all about? Well, Helen McKenzie, who we'll speak to in just a few moments, runs the National Centre of Excellence in Ripon. Let's hear her explanation of how it's played. Let me tell you about a new fast and furious sport called VX. The Americans call it dodgeball on steroids. It's the simplest sport there is. There's no goals, no markings, no targets. All you have to do is hit your opponent with the ball. It's new, it's fast, it's exciting, and it was invented in North Yorkshire where I'm from. A very brief explanation there, and joining us now is the sports founder, Paul Hildreth. On the end, we have Helen McKenzie in the middle and uh, Phil Sheridan, who's a patron of VX. Paul, if we can just start with you, how did you come up with the concept of VX? Well, it was a misunderstanding. Um, a client of mine rang me up one day and said, what do you think to this? And I got totally the wrong end of the stick and imagined people running around throwing balls at each other. When I saw what he'd got, it was nothing like that, but we'd got the idea of throwing balls at each other. Uh, and just very quickly, run us through the rules of it. So you've got the stick, yep. it's got almost a basket on each end, almost well, like lacrosse. Well, you're supposed to dribble, so as you're running around, you're rocking the ball from end to end, and then you just fire, fire the ball. One point for hit, two points for catch. And do you aim at the body? You aim yeah, oh at yeah. the floor? Uh, yeah, just shoulders to feet. And this can be played with from two people to 50 people? Uh, singles, one-on-one on one a squash court, doubles... Uh, v4, two on two on a squash court, or a team game five on five. With and Helen, this is uh, being taken up, I believe, in schools now. Schools are quite into it. Why? Uh, well, I got it going in Ripon Grammar School, and uh, Ripon Grammar School has now become the National Centre of, of Excellence, uh, where we host England training and, and international matches. Uh, and really, from the word go, my head of department just let me run with it and just see the impact that, that uh, VX had. Straight away, children were wanting to be involved. Those that never even take part in school sport, never want to um, represent their school or their house or anything, were wanting to play VX. And straight away there was this, this huge impact uh, of children wanting to get involved. On top of that, there's the honesty, the integrity that you mentioned earlier, um, that is something that I want to be associated with. And this is also quite good. We can see some pictures now for people mm. with, who are recovering, maybe service personnel with a disability. Phil, you, you have a, a disability, but this is ideal for you. Tell us about it. It is, yeah. I think I recognised that potential when I first was invited to play a game of VX. And it was an idea that I muted with both Helen and Paul. It wasn't something that they'd thought about, but I think it really piqued their interest that this could be a really fun way of engaging people in rehab and rehabilitation. And actually, that's what you get from watching this. I was never very sporty at school, but that looks a little bit more like tagging the playground it to does. me. It looks like it's a bit more fun than doing, you know, netball, basketball. It <clears> does, <throat> and I, I think for me also, it's a real sport for the 21st century because it embraces some values of inclusivity. For boys play girls, people with disabilities can play able-bodied people, so it really embraces a set of values that uh, I think... And how is it administered? Is there a governing body who runs it? Yes, there's, there's an international federation, Global VX, that runs the whole sport worldwide, and underneath that there are national governing bodies, of which we currently have 14 worldwide. Uh, Helen, very quickly, what's the long-term hopes for VX then? Well, we hope it's going to be an Olympic sport and that's where, where we're heading um, with the, the administration of it now. But um, mainly, I just want children involved playing a sport that they are enjoying. And is it expensive to take up? I mean, how much does the kit cost? Um, one of these with a the ball would cost £30, but it lasts. I have to say, though, nothing, but nothing has the impact. Anything I've done in my life, nothing has the impact that this has. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you. And we wish you well with the future. Yeah, best Thank of you luck. very much. Now, here's a factoid for you. The old